Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've worked with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department for 10 years now. And I've worked in many different assignments. I've been in traffic, narcotics, and patrol. I've currently been on the streets for four years after getting out of narcotics, and I love it. I can't think of any other assignment right now I'd rather be in on, than on the streets. A caller reported that he's trying to impound a vehicle, but the owner got in the vehicle and won't get out. I ran the subject's name, and it looks like he has a misdemeanor warrant locally for aiming or discharging a weapon. So we're en route with other, other deputies to check this call out. 440 is arriving. 440, Hey, Keith, Stanley, white male in his 40s. I saw he had a warrant. Let's get Sandy for that. Yeah. Is he still in the truck? Yep. Still in there? Yeah. Hey, Stanley. 315-19. Do you have any weapons on you? Absolutely none. Okay, I'm going to have you step out for now. Okay. I will not step out. Okay, well, I think we have a warrant for your arrest. Get out of the car. I will not step out. Okay. Get out of the car! Grab Get out of your hand! Behind your back! I got no cuffs. Okay. When we say get out of the car, we mean get out of the car, Stanley. You understand us? Yes. Do you have any weapons on you? I don't even have my license on me, man. That'd be a no, wouldn't it? 440 County, we have one in custody after pepper spray. Units are coming to the 513 arriving next 31 other car. All right, well, are you going to be able to stand up? Not without help. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Grab the here. Here we go. Ready? Up. Go. Here, Terry, I'll be off. Watch the guy. And let's go back this way. Watch the glasses. Watch the glasses. Okay. Wherever. I got it. I do. Hey, just get the name of your company on the side of your truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys really get that. Hey, Keith. Yeah. All right, Sam, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say kind of will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to sign or talk to an attorney and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you're not before to hire an attorney, I want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. And you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Go ahead and have a seat. Hold on. Don't get in yet. Miss Switchy's out. Okay. We're going to switch uh, handcuffs off, Stanley. Stanley, did you know about your warrant? If I have a warrant, yes, I know what it is. It's a failure to pay on a... Pointing a firearm or something? Yeah, aiming or, aiming or discharging a firearm. That's going to be it. It's local. Pointing, not aiming. Okay, well, the warrant says aiming or discharging. That's what the law says. So that's why you're under arrest. How can you haven't taken care of the warrant? I was illegally convicted due to the complete incompetency of my so called private public defender. So are you saying you didn't know about your warrant? Oh, I, I was aware of it. Okay, how come you haven't taken care of it yet? Because I will not pay for a stupid ticket. Okay, I'll help you. Turn. To your right. And then sit straight back. Watch your head. Well, we'll take care of that warrant tonight. There we go. Is that where you're Hey, Stanley, how come you wouldn't get out of your truck after we asked you to a couple times? I wouldn't get out of the truck because I knew that.
He's going to tow it, and there's absolutely no reason for him to tow it. Is it? There's a disabled sticker in the window. Okay, well, my partner told you to get out of the car. You said no. I said, well, Stanley, you have a warrant for your arrest. You need to get out now. And then you refused, okay? Was I violent in any way? Doesn't matter. It, Was it, I violent in any way? No, I wanted to argue the point with you. Well, when you got a warrant for your arrest, it's hard to argue that. Well, right? yeah. Okay. Well, have a seat. Sit back. Okay, I'll talk to the tow driver real quick and see what okay. the disposition of that's going to be. Okay. Okay. What's your side of the story on the tow? My side of the story is it's an illegal tow. There's a disabled sticker right there in the window. Are they repoing it or just towing it because it's in a uh, it's disabled spot? It's because it's in a disabled parking lot. Okay. I told him I'd get out as soon as he put it on the ground. Okay. So it's being towed because it's in a handicapped spot? Yeah. All right. Do you have any disabled placards or anything on your uh, truck? Disabled placards on the dashboard. Oh, there is one on the dashboard. Yeah, it wasn't on there whenever he hooked up to it. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't there. It was laying in the floor. I that's probably why they called the tow truck, just because your placard wasn't uh, visible. Yeah, and when I walked out and told him that I am a disabled driver, yeah. he should have put it back down because it was an illegal tow. You know, unfortunately, once they hook a car up like that, they won't pay, put it down unless you, until you pay them. I know it's a bad deal, but that's how they operate. That's how they operate. In that case, the apartment can pay it because it's an illegal tow. So what, what exactly happened here? Going to private impound for the disabled uh, placard. Correct. Yeah, he admitted that uh, when you got here, he didn't have the placard on his car. Yeah. And he put it on once he saw you. It was already hooked up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's pretty much what happened. Well, he ran in the office. I mean, you know, I looked when I first rolled up and it wasn't hanging. So sure. uh, when it, you know, I uh, checked and, and yeah, they said go ahead. So hooked up to it. And, for sure. And you just waited for us at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I just called you guys up. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately for him, he's going to owe the tow truck uh, company money to get his truck back, and he's going to jail for on his warrant. And facing some criminal charges for resisting arrest. So he, he really took a bad situation and just made it worse. Amarillo is a good city, a lot of diversity in our department. I'm assigned to the uh, crisis intervention unit, and uh, I get to work with a partner every night. So we kind of don't get tied down to a beat. We can answer some other calls. And just kind of go wherever we need to go inside the city. Right now we're headed to a call on a, on a wanted person. We've got some information uh, about a sus subject that uh, got a uh, probation violation warrant. It's supposed to be staying with this guy. we got an address. We're going to go here and see if we can't locate him. It's going to be that house right there. Just an open field right beside it, isn't it? Yep. Who is this? Is female in custody yet? No, not yet. Just stay on the wall for me. Watch this, watch this room right there. There's not admin security in that house yet. Bring your hands back here. Put your name on the wall. Stay up against the wall for me. Right now you're just being detained, okay? You're not under arrest. Do you understand that? Okay, we'll just put these handcuffs on for my protection and for yours. My name's Till we figure out what all is here, okay? You watch her? Okay. Okay, all right. Just hang tight. Okay, what's going on, okay? Lean up against the wall for me. You just got off of work? Okay, where do you work at? Oh, okay. We're just going to double lock these real quick, okay? So they don't tighten up on you. What's your first name, hon? Ashley. Ashley? That's the wanted subject is out there, brass. We're at? Right there on the front. Right there on the porch. Okay. Two big bags that we had in his pocket here. Okay. What's your name, partner? Uh, Sam. Sam? Sam what? Okay. Did you know you had a warrant out, out for your arrest? Yeah. Okay. What's your warrant for? Um, you want me to clear him? I'll okay. How long have you been staying here? 364. Is this your address? 364. It's a bunch of weed. 
That's what it came in though, right? Yeah. So y'all got a, a little bit more than just a little bit. How much is that right there? I'm not even sure. Are y'all selling? Because this is a digital scale right here, right? Yeah. You sell weed out here? Is this your house? This is our house. Oh, this y'all's house? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? Francisco. Okay. All right, hop up, Sam. So you're you're telling me there's a quarter pound in here, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and where's that quarter pound at? The quarter pound that I know that's stashed in here is well, I know it's someone in the back room right over here. Okay, and who put it there? I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. okay. Are y'all selling weed out here? No. Y'all sell? What's the scales for? Uh, I guess they did for this way out. Is that, are those digital skills yeah, yours? No that's, no, that's not my digits. Okay, so that's not your phone or your, or your keys? That's my wallet and that's my keys. Okay. So, Francisco, you want to show me where this rest of this dope's at? Where's well, the, the only weed? piano where he stashes is in the room that, like, he's all his man in. Okay. It's over here in the corner. I mean, I'm not sure where it is, but it's over here. So you don't have a problem with me going back there and getting it, right? You can go and check it out. I'm not sure where it's at. Like I said, I know it's in the back. But this is your house. This is our house. Okay. So can I go back there and get it? I mean, you're going to have to. I mean, yeah, you're in the house. Okay. Same time for me real quick, all right? Uh, right now, the uh, owner of the house has given us consent to search. Uh, the guy that we were... Uh, looking for that was wanted that was supposed to be here was in fact here he was going out the front as we were at the back door uh, stopped by other officers out front and he had a pretty good size a couple of baggies of marijuana on him so we came back in and talked to the homeowner about the weed that we had found on him obviously you can smell the the marijuana the burnt marijuana here in the house he's got uh, digital scales in the plastic baggies uh, to put it in uh, they do that, they get large amounts, break it down into, into smaller quantities and sell it out on the street. That's what it looks like he's doing right there. So I'm hoping to find a little bit more. Okay, here it is, right here. Yeah. You can see, Beckham, did you take pictures over here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's got a, he's got his plastic baggies. He's got his digital scales. Uh, he's got the knife he's cutting it up with. And then there's that right there. So we need to get some pictures of that. Is there a gun in this house? Uh, there's not one in the house. If he had, where did he keep his gun? Always on him. He always had it on yeah, him? Leave it around because Are I, one of these cars his outside? The gray one. Which one? The gray one. This gray Cougar? Is it the one that's parked yeah. here at the back? Yeah, look at me. Get up. We're no, right that's fine. Just a... If it's the gray Cougar with the bash out window, that's it. Because ours is the maroon one. Okay. A revolver sitting there in the driver's seat. Where he was this, this is where he was coming when he came out the front door. It doesn't look like it's loaded, but that's where he was bebopping to. He was coming out to the car here. You never know when something's going to happen, I guess. Yep. Everything in the house is mine. Everything. Everything is everything. what? Everything. The weed, the scales, everything that has to do with any drugs. So none of that's theirs? You want to write me a statement saying it's yours? Yeah, all that's mine. Okay. Everything. Will you write me a statement saying that? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll just got to get some paperwork started, get some pictures taken care of, and we still got to talk to Francisco and Ash a little bit more. And like I said, I'll, I'll be, uh, be taking you out to Potter County, okay? Uh, appreciate your cooperation. They understand what you're under arrest for? They I, didn't want warrant? To, I didn't want to mess up my clothes. Okay. Sorry, right? You've got a warrant out for your arrest. And obviously you're under arrest for the narcotics violation as well for the possession of marijuana. I like being a cop here in uh, Las Vegas and in Bolden. Great group of guys that I work with. Everybody's always helping each other out. Every time we go on a call, we know we have somebody behind us. And it goes back to when I was back in the Marines back in the early 80s is everybody knew what everybody was doing. Working here at Bolden takes me back to that and that's what I enjoy most of all. Officers got a vehicle stopped. It possibly matches the description that's been used in a robbery series that's been going on for the past couple of weeks. He's asked for another unit. And uh, at first the vehicle uh, wasn't stopping. Uh, it's, it's stopped right now, so we're just about there. Thank you. 
Listen to what you're told. Do it now. Put your hands up on top of your head. Turn around. Turn around. Do you have probable cause for pulling Yes, I do. Walk back to the sound of my voice. Don't move. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. We will tell you in a minute. Stand up. Stand up. By all means, there's nobody in the car. I can't. My legs are crossed. Can you uncross them? Then they're silly. I can't forward to uncross them. Dang. I've done nothing wrong here. He's going southbound initially, Michael. I'm going northbound. I see him. It looked like he had like a hoodie or something on. Okay. Okay. His windows were tinted. Rims, black, four-door Honda. Okay. okay, so I turn around to do a records check on it. Now he's coming westbound Sheila, driving pretty quick. Okay. Well, once I get behind him, he slams on his okay. brakes, slows way down. But now he's just doing like 10 miles an hour. Well, he gets set up at Jones, no turn signal, starts to go left, okay. and then changes and goes right. So I light him up right there. Goes on the cycle probably six, seven different times. Nothing, so I'm like, all right, give me a code red. If it's the description, you know, it's okay. a good chance of it. So okay. that's where we're at. Oh. All right, cool. We're going to be looking for uh, the mask. Um, I think they're using uh, bandanas and everything to conceal their faces. But one of the descriptions was a tall, thin, black male. And he's like dead on. I didn't feel I did anything wrong. Well, you may not have. But you still broke the law by, let's see, speeding, not using your turn signal, and failing to yield to my signal. Uh, okay, when my siren cycles through six or seven times and you pick it up to normal speed, that makes me think that you have something to hide or you're trying to evade me. He's got some skimmers or scanners. He's got other people's IDs in here. Yeah. So um, that's what, you know, the credit card skimmer things. He's got all these cell phones from... Metro PCS. Um, wasn't one of the places that was hit a Metro PCS place? They've been hit several times. Whose safe is that in your car? That's not, that's not, that's I mean, right. I, I mean, uh, yeah, I've I've had it for a long time. But I've been holding it. For, I've been holding it for a friend. Probably six months. Six months. Something like that. You, you know what's in there? No, I never opened it. You never opened you it. You gave me the key, but I never opened it. Okay, why are you hanging on to somebody else's safe then for six months if you're not sure what it is? He was in a, a, a friend of a friend, so I was like, you know, it's, I didn't assume there was anything bad. I mean, it's just a safe. What else is in that car that I need to be concerned of? There's nothing in the car that you need to be concerned about. The only thing that I do have in there are some gym passes that I use to work out with because, frankly, I can't afford it. And that's just being honest with you. Where did you get those? I, I found them. You found them? Happy, yeah. Do we have a blue jeans huh? or anything further on them? Or I found them at the gym. Because sometimes people leave them behind it and they're in the You're a good outstanding guy, but yet you're using somebody else's identity. Think about not, that one for a minute. Not identity. Right. Do you have any reason why you have these in your car? No. They, they, where did you get those? They, the ID. You have a bunch of IDs. That's illegal to have on you. What, the, the past, I found all of those. Why'd you keep them? Because I was going to give them back. Honestly, I, at some point, I was going to I was gonna give them back. I don't know why I was holding on to them. I was going to give them back at some point. I you did, know that some I, of them have been gone for over two years? When were you going to get around to getting them back to them? They, I haven't had them for over two years. How long I, have you had them? Maybe three, four months. Have you contacted anyone? I've, I've contacted my boy. Actually, works at the fitness, and I was gonna get, I was gonna contact him, but I haven't been able to reach him. When they, I call him, he hasn't picked up. And like I said, all those passes I found. That as far as what the safe, I was holding it for a friend. I'm not sure. You know that some of the people that those cards that you that you have have actually filed police reports because someone's obtained their personal information through those cards and opened bank accounts. Through all those passes I found, I I I know nothing about this. I promise. Okay, you. I'm just telling you that's. <laughs> That's what we know so far. I'm guessing the guy that's probably working with, this is probably giving him personal information. Right. Giving him copies of their um, fitness cards, or they leave them in the locker room or whatever. He gets them, gives them to this guy. This guy records the information, does the credit. He doesn't right. need to do the credit card numbers. All he's got to do is have the credit card number itself. He doesn't have to right. pay credit cards. He's yeah. All in the bank. Because he's got that. Scanner. He's calling or the skimmer. Banks. He's calling the banks from the go phones. So every time they call back to the go phone, because now he believes that we can't find out who he is, because he can go into um, any phone store and say, you know, um, 
Joe Blow, whatever. Joe whoever, and say, you know, I need a go phone. He gets a go phone, and now he's obviously got seven of them. So. Okay. And whichever ones go through, and he gets money, then he just goes to that bank and withdraws that money, and there it is. I don't even know where those go phones came from. Okay. I just don't want to be charged for something that I didn't do. Like. Okay, I tell you what, right? Christopher, yes. okay, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. I've, I've been 100% honest. Do you, you understand what I just said? Yes. All right, so just sit there and think about that for a second, okay? Yes. Five uh, driver's licenses, which is a felony in the state. Um, three of them which were used in a burglary. So we're going to take him down to county jail, and uh, he'll get booked there and processed and go from there. Okay, very good. Very, Detectives very good. We're going to do some follow-up on the uh, card reader, the uh, credit card reader. If anything comes of that, then uh, more charges can be pending here in the near future for him. So Hopefully he'll have learned his lessons and we'll get a conscience throughout this. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Kingston. David 2514. Can't transmit on tech. 